everyone, this is Jessica, and today I'm going to be creating this project using some of the supplies from the June 2020 Mixed Media Inspired subscription box. So to start, I'm using three colors of Dilutions paint in Fiery Sunset, Desert Sand, and Lemon Drop. And I'm using a mini blending tool to create a technique that's taught by Diane Reevely called Patchwork. So what I'm doing is with the paint on the mini blending tool, I'm simply making a few squares with the Fiery Sunset. Then I'm going to continue doing this, filling it in with desert sand, and I'm making sure that I don't let any of the colors touch, so there's space between each color block. And I'm just doing this in a very randomized fashion, so I'm you know, making sure that I don't have any of the colors touching. And if you need to add a little bit more paint, I always just do one drop from the one ounce bottle on my blending, mini blending tool and then I had to use one more drop when I need a little more paint and this ensures that I don't get too much paint on the mini blending foam. So now I'm moving on to the lemon drop and the lemon drop is a really bright almost similar to a neon color but not quite but it's very vibrant as you can see here. And so I'm just filling in the gaps with the lemon drop. And then I decided that I didn't really like the way that one red square was, so I'm just making it a little bigger, adding to it, and then continuing on to fill in with the lemon drop. Because of the formulation of the Dilutions paint and the fact that I'm applying it with a mini blending tool, the paint is drying almost instantly, so I'm not going to have a lot of wait time. I'm just going to be able to keep moving forward in my project. So now that I have all of the squares laid out here, I'm going to take the Crafter's Workshop stencil, and this one is the 6x6 shape landscape. And I'm going to begin applying some patterns in each of the squares. So in the fiery sunset squares, I'm using the desert sand. And then inside the lemon drop, I'm using the fiery sunset. And then within the desert sand squares, I'm going to use the lemon drop. So I'm using the same three colors that are in the background, and I'm just reversing them so that the patterns on, on the squares are different colors. And I'm rotating the stencil as I'm filling in the square so the patterns go in different um, directions. So like you can see in the bottom, the diamonds are going left and right, and up above, on towards the top, they're going up and down. And this is just to create more interest within the page. Now, as I mentioned before, when I get to the desert sand, I'm going to be using the lemon drop color. But because I didn't really clean my stencil, and it, I'm working so quickly, a little bit of the... Um, fiery sunset does sort of go into the desert sand and I'm okay with it. I think that looks fine. And because the lemon drop is so light, you're not the pattern, the stencil pattern is not going to be quite as bold as it is on say the um, the fiery sunset on a lemon drop. But I can still see it even if the camera isn't picking it up the best. So now I'm going to use the Dilutions journaling block and a black Posca paint pen. And I'm going to create lines between each of the boxes that I created to make a grid. So I'm just using the journaling block to just help the lines be straight. And I'm going to just go through and very roughly divide all of the squares. So because of the way that I painted in these squares, the lines, the paint may be not exactly where I want it to be. I mean, like a little bit of the red might have moved into the yellow sections, and that's okay. It's not going to matter later on after I add all my doodling. So just right now, I'm just getting the lines in so that I know where the sections are going to be divided. And then off camera, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to make all these lines a little bit wider and then add in some doodled highlights as well, as you can see in just a second. Now, I did all the doodling off camera, 
but it's just a little um, like a looped pattern around all the edges is basically all I did. And now I'm using a couple pieces from the ephemera pack by Vicky Boutine, the Kaleidoscope ephemera pack. And I'm just cutting a couple of the leaves off this vine because I want to use them around the other flowers so they match. So I'm just being selective about where I cut those leaves off. One of the spaces is going to be filled with a flower and not be seen anyway. So now I'll have a matching patterns all around my page instead of just one splash of green. And then I'm going to glue down the flowers as well. So again, like I said, because of where I placed that orange flower, you wouldn't have seen the leaf anyway, so it was a perfect spot to cut that leaf off. And then I'm just gluing it all down with my trusty collage, uh, distressed collage medium and my collage medium brush. And so I'm putting a layer of the collage medium on the back of the ephemera and then pr placing it down on my page and then putting a layer of the collage medium also on the top, just to seal it in. And as I got going here, I placed on my flowers and then completely forgot that I did have those leaves that I cut off earlier from the vine. So now I'm spending time sealing it. And I'm going to realize in half a second here that I very foolishly didn't put the leaves underneath the flowers so you're going to see me try to carefully pull up the flowers and place the leaves under. I should have done this before I sealed everything down but it I, I, thought, I realized it quickly enough so it all worked out okay. So yeah as I said I'm sticking down the leaves. You know how that goes sometimes you get in the creative mojo and you're just working along and all of a sudden you forgot what you were planning to do five minutes earlier. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But anyway, um, so now, like I said, I'm gluing down those leaves and I'm just carefully tucking them under one of the petals of the flower and then I'm pressing it all back in place and sealing it with the distressed collage medium. And after I've given this all a chance to dry so the glue is completely dry, I'm going to go back in with my black Posca paint pen and I'm going to outline all the flowers and the leaves. And this is just to bring everything to back together. And I'm mimicking those black line borders around all of the patchwork that I did earlier. And it, it does make the elements look like they're all one piece instead of those flowers just floating on the top. So I'm just rotating my page so it makes it a little easier for tracing the flowers and I'm just going to continue on. And I also think adding these lines around gives it more of a quilted look, which is what I, you know, I was trying to do with this patchwork theme or like applique. So I'm just carefully tracing around all the flowers and the leaves. And now that that's all done, I'm just going in with a piece of chipboard and this is from the Jess Lou collection. And I think this piece is from set one. Yeah, from set one. And it says art is everywhere and I'm just gluing that in place. And now my page is complete. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see what you're creating. So please share your artwork with us using hashtag Mixed Media Inspired. And if you'd like to learn how you can be a part of the Mixed Media Inspired subscription and get the boxes to your door every single month, check out the description below. I'll put all the information there. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Have a creative day.